The following program is a production of KHET in Honolulu, Hawaii Public Television. Aloha from Hawaii, and welcome once again to the International Kitchen, where delicious foods and fascinating people gather. Your host, Nino J. Martin, creates tantalizing and mouth-watering dishes from around the world designed to fit the schedule of a busy yet creative chef. Take time to treat your palate to an astounding array of worldwide cuisine from the International Kitchen. And now, here's Nino. Talk about that, that sounds like a lot of fun. Aloha! How are you? Nice to have you back with us again on the International Kitchen. And we want to thank all of you who are taking the time out of your very busy days to drop us a line or give us a call down here at the International Kitchen and letting us know what you think of the program and making some wonderful suggestions and um, enjoying the program. So thank you for that and do continue because we always like to hear from you. Today we have a very special program and you know how busy most of us are and how expensive the cost of food is these days. And all of us want to provide our families with some nutritious yet inexpensive sources of protein. And these days, protein is very expensive. Meat, for example. One source of meatless protein is the soybean. And the bean curd, uh, or the curd from the soybean, is made into what is commonly known to all of us here on the islands as tofu. Tofu is used extensively uh, in Japan, and especially since the meat is very expensive there and it's scarce. And our guest today is from Japan. She was born in Kobe, and she now lives in Tokyo part-time and part-time in Seattle uh, here in the United States. She's a home economist and an author of this cookbook called Quick and Easy Tofu Cookbook. And we're going to be doing three recipes today from this cookbook, and I'd like to have you welcome our very special guest, Yokiko Moriyama. Thank you. How are you? Welcome. Fine. Welcome to Hawaii. Thank you very much. Is this the first time here in Hawaii for you? No. You've been, you've been, been going before. through? Yes. Now, uh, just before we went on, you were saying that, that you actually live in Japan part-time. Yes. And you live in Seattle. Yes. So you're a busy lady doing a lot of yes, traveling. Yes, flying huh? across the Pacific quite a bit regularly. I see. Well, now, how did you get interested in cooking? Well, nothing to be found, just the eating. So I yeah. just uh, started out my cooking or eating uh -huh. since I was a small child. And your mother taught you how to cook the, yes, yes, as a small, small child. child. Yes, and I got interested. And you enjoyed it. Yes. Yeah. Now, you have a particular interest, and of course, with the cookbook that you did here, the uh, tofu cookbook. Yes. Why, why are you so interested in tofu? Because of the nutritious uh, the point, mm -hmm. and uh, for the calories standpoint, also the economical standpoint. So it's and low in calories and it's not expensive? Not expensive and high in protein content. Uh -huh. Actually, it is amazing, very low, uh, very high in protein content mm -hmm. by the weight, but very low in calories. And calories and also cholesterol. And no, no cholesterol, cholesterol absolutely, no cholesterol. No so it's very fat. healthy? Yes. It's very healthy. We're going to be doing three dishes today. Before we get into that, though, I'd like to just talk a little bit about your background in terms of your education. Yes. Uh, you studied food preparation at a university? Yes, home economics. I see. Where was that? In Japan, in Tokyo. Ah. And uh, where else? Do you, do you have a cooking school now and you do instruction? No, I... After I graduate, I took more further cooking mm -hmm. uh, instruction from private... Uh, uh, teachers? Teachers. Uh -huh. And... Uh, Chinese cooking, Japanese cooking. So you do both Chinese and Japanese? Yes. Do you do any uh, European or American cooking? Yeah, well, yes, I you do. You do all that. Well, see spaghetti. how talented you are. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do some cooking then. We're going to be doing three of the dishes. And what are those uh, you cook with? Uh, today is a stuffed tofu mm -hmm. with the ground meat and also for seafood lovers using crab meat. Okay. And uh, with the tofu. Then for the uh, sweet tooth, have a milkshake with a okay. tofu. Gee, I've never heard of a milkshake made with tofu. That, that would be very interesting. That's why I have to write a book for. Aha, uh -huh. okay. And, and so she did. And here are the, uh, some tofu that we'd like to have you look at. Uh, two types. Could you explain that for us, please? Yes, this one's a much firmer tofu, and this one is uh, the more silky. This one is uh, the firmer one. Firmer uh -huh. one. This is more soft type. This one here. Yes, this uh -huh. one is made from soybean curd and made it harder to retain the shape. 
I see. And sometimes you like to see. You know, so it doesn't fall that, apart. That's yeah? right. And this okay. one is a much more smooth taste and uh, softer. Okay, and we're going to be making a milkshake with this yes. in just a little while. Okay. Well, we'll start off then first with the, the stuffed tofu. Yes. And tofu can be eaten without anything or with some condiments, and we'll show you some of those later. But in this particular recipe, we're going to be stuffing it with some uh, what? Uh, let's, let's show them here. This is some uh, ground beef. The ground beef. beef and the How much beef do you have here? About this, a quarter it? pound. One quarter and pound lean beef. ground meat. Okay, and then you and the that. ginger root. Uh -huh. And for the chopped green onion. Uh -huh. and, and we also have... And for the sauce, to season that uh, ground meat. And okay, soy and sauce. Soy sauce. Uh -huh. All right, so how do we do that? Now, so the first, a little bit of oil. I love your kimono, isn't it? Oh, thank That's you. It's very nice. Looks thank very nice on you. Nice to be in, wearing in Hawaii. Yes, it's very unusual, isn't it? Yes, yeah. very. Okay, so you have a little bit of oil. How much oil do you have in Oh, it? about one tablespoon. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because this uh, uh, meat is lean, so maybe mm -hmm. need a little bit. Okay. And saute it and mix with the ginger, chopped ginger root, and also chopped green onion. Okay. And saute it. Is tofu your favorite Japanese food? Or? Yes, no. I like. I eat almost every day. Deal. Uh -huh. Put in a soup or just eat as plain. That's tofu. why you stay so thin. You're so Thank svelte you. and thin. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Really? Well, then you're nice and thin and healthy. Thank you. I like um, we, we eat a lot of sashimi here in, oh, uh, Hawaii. in Hawaii. Yes, we do. And we enjoy it uh, quite a bit. You, you like sashimi? Very much. Mm -hmm. In fact, a lot of fresh tuna come from Hawaii to ship to Japan. Really? Yes. Yeah, I imagine it's rather expensive, though, isn't it? Very expensive. Yes. Very it's, expensive. It's pretty expensive here, too. And so, even though a lot of us like it a lot, we sometimes can't eat too much of it, obviously. Can't afford it. Okay. No. What can I do? Cook the, the meat and mix up oh, the, the soy sauce. So, okay. so, so, and mixture of cornstarch, too. Just a little bit of cornstarch. Corn and that's just to kind of thicken it a little bit, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, with the cooking of this meat, maybe I'll show the preparation of tofu. Sure. Okay. So now, tofu has to be drained off very well, I mean, mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. After you bought from store, they usually packed in the water. Mm -hmm. So that the drain out of the water, and for faster, quick result, just use a kitchen towel, a paper towel. Such as this, and like it just this, kind of uh, just absorbs it a absorb. little bit, huh? Because tofu contains about 90% of water. Mm. So that the easy... No nice wonder to... it's low calorie. <laughs> well, but about this, uh, one block of tofu is only 157 calories. 157? Seven calories. Seven calories. I think eggs has a more, three times more. Oh, com... certainly. Yes. A yolk of an egg would have incredible amount of calories. You want me to stir this up a little for you? Yes, please. Now, for the stuffing, after drain off the water well, from tofu, cut diagonally. So basically, you just take the blocks and you cut them, and you're going to put uh, the stuffing in them. Stuffing, you? yes. Slit, make a slit in here. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, are you going to add the, um, the soy sauce soy to this? Soy sauce, uh, yes. How much, yes. right now? Uh, right now. Okay, yes. and I think that I better mix that, though, because it's the uh, cornstarch is on yes. the bottom. Huh? That's funny about cornstarch. It always sinks to the bottom. Isn't that funny? You always have to stir okay, it. You always have to stir Okay, there we go. Then stir until Just stir. thickened. Boy, that really smells good. So you have how much beef again in here? About a half a cup? Or so? Oh, the sugar? No, no, the, the beef, the ground meat. Oh, about a quarter pound, very small amount. Okay. Because just for the, this two blocks of the tofu. And about a tablespoon. Doesn't require that so much of that. And a tablespoon mm -hmm. of, um, or so of ginger root, huh? Yes, okay. then chopped the green onion. Okay, is that enough? Yes, or do you want to that's let it cook? enough. Okay. I think, uh, so I'll just take this off the heat and, and stuff. put it right over here. Now, slit, make a slit in here. Right in the center of it. Yeah. Now, here comes the very delicate operation, ladies and gentlemen. 
that doesn't fall apart, huh? No, because the cornstarch helps ah, to retain Ah, good that. idea. Nature's little glue. That's right. That's what that is. And about uh, t one tablespoon. Per, uh, per, per half block. Yes. Okay. And I suppose you have to be somewhat careful on the end, ends there so it doesn't go off the end. Huh? Right, so, yeah. yes. So and if you like to stuff more meat, sometimes after you slit here, scoop up a little bit of tofu from oh, around okay. so you can stuff more. So here you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the, the, uh, the meat, of course, from, from the beef, and you're getting the protein from the tofu. Yes, yeah, But if you're... Um, I'll, we're only going to do one of these, so... But if you're a um, vegetarian, obviously you don't have to put the meat in there, and you can just eat it plain. Yes. Now, after you stuff the meat, cooked the meat, of course you can prepare those uh, cooked meat in advance, keep it in the refrigerator day ahead, and when you're in a real hurry, just come home and, and stuff, stuff it, it, stuff and it, and do this to it. Now, this coat is, this is corn starch. starch, plain corn starch, without any seasoning. Uh -huh. Just to cover, coat it all around. Uh -huh. And that's to kind of keep it together, huh? Yes, and look uh, crispy. Crispy outside, juicy on the inside. Oh, I think you've been watching American television a lot, right? Why not? <laughs> There's a commercial that says that. Oh, I see. Yes. I thought it was my creation. Oh, well, okay. Let's pretend it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, coat it well. And at this point, you have a uh, walk over here with some oil with the in oil, it. Vegetable oil, any right. kind of oil will be fine. Okay. And you're going to just deep fry that right yes. now? Yes. It would be nice that they're very hot, and if you don't have a thermometer when, for the checking oil temperature, just drop a little bit of this cornstarch corn starch and sink it and fully float right away. Then they're ready to deep you mean, fry. If, if, if it sinks, you say? No, sink in the bottom, then... Yeah right up. And then it's ready? Ready. When, oh, really? So when without the cornstarch comes up to the top, then it's ready to, the temperature is just right. Interesting. Okay, and there we go, into the then deep fryer. deep fry it. And you do the, the rest the same way. Yeah, of course, and uh, this is enough of a recipe for four servings, right? Yes, for mm -hmm. Japanese stomach. So I don't know the for American stomach. Well, I suppose American stomachs could even go to two or three. Two, that's right. <laughs> I so I just promised for, for the Japanese stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> Some American stomachs. So okay. this is the way and then turn. And you just turn it around. Now we've prepared some of these for you already ahead of time. So while that's cooking, let me just show them. Oops, just tilt it over here. And this is what they look like when they're all done. And it's really quite well displayed, as a matter of fact. And here you have the tofu on the outside and you have the meat on the inside. Okay? Now, the Japanese are, are so well known mm -hmm. for their presentation of the food. Yeah. Where did that custom originate? I think it came from that uh, Buddhist. The Buddhist? The, the sort of so is it a relig religious? religious? Yes. Appreciate the food. Mm -hmm. And also that the beauty of nature and everything you will enjoy. Mm -hmm. So everything has an order. In order. And it's presented. So when you really enjoy food, then it's worth presenting mm -hmm. properly, isn't yes. it? Well, that's so that's what nice. I could serving dishes and everything is a part of the serving. Okay, I'll just put this back over here in our serving area, and, uh, and there you have a finished um, a finished one. Maybe we can turn that around. Is that all right if we could just turn yes, it around and turn show that on. and show um, our friends at home what that looks like? And that's a beautiful stuffed right there. Uh, it, it's all stuffed and ready to go. Now you would serve it immediately, is that right? Yes, and uh, also serve with a uh, dipping sauce, if you like. And what, like how would you make like the dipping sauce? Tempura sauce. And if you like like ketchup, that would be fine too. But for Japanese, using uh, uh, soup stocks mixed with a little bit of uh, 
salt and pepper and the mirin. Mirin is a Japanese cooking sweet. Do the wine. Japanese actually serve this with ketchup? Yes. Really? Well, that that's surprising. I don't for know the, why, yes, but it's particularly the, for the young generation, oh, course, young people, yes. they used to. And they probably have a coke with it too, right? right? <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Okay. Instead of green tea. Uh, let's go on to our next one now. The next one is going to be, uh, for those of you who are lovers of um, crab meat and, of course, seafood, uh, we're going to be doing a, uh, a special dish for you with um, crab meat, which is quite exciting. I can hardly wait for that milkshake, though. Boy. Well, this is just canned crab meat. If you have a fresh crab meat, uh, if you catch your own crabs, you can just crack it up crabs and use a crab meat or well, this one is a quick and easy so i just okay. dashed to the store and I got the canned crab meat all right so this is just canned canned and, uh, crab meat well just one can well depend on how much you like to use and yeah, this one i use uh, two cans six ounces okay and uh, one tablespoon of butter and this is chopped uh, ginger ginger mm -hmm. ginger root I have these chopsticks. They're a little oh, bigger. Oh, this should be fine. Right? Thank you. Okay, and so a uh, tablespoon or two of butter and a little bit of uh, ginger, mm. Mm. and about a cup and a half cup or so and half of over. Um, crab meat. And stir it and heat it up. Now, if you have, say, suppose we get a good bargain at tof of tofu in the market and we yes. bring it home, how do you preserve it so it doesn't spoil, or will it spoil? Well, the best way to keep it is to change the water every day. Mm -hmm. If you don't use it, if you like to keep a fresh tofu up to one week, better not to keep longer than one week. Mm -hmm. But if you uh, don't you use it the like all the time. every once a day mm -hmm. and keep in a refrigerator, and the airtight container, the tofu absorbs so much odor and smells quickly. Mm -hmm. So you must seal it tight mm -hmm. with the con uh, airtight container or cover with the plastic wrap. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then it's relatively easy. You can keep it up to a week. Ah, uh, well, I cannot recommend it up to two weeks. Just a week, one week. One week, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you like to keep in the freezer, that the tofu texture will change completely. It's really? a different form yeah, well, then of what tofu. what happens to it? Well, you can also use it as a different type of cooking. Oh, really? But the texture will be completely different and more sort of a spongy. Mm -hmm. You know, of speaking of texture, that reminds me of a story that uh, you were telling me about a little embarrassing moment with rice and you changed the texture of the rice. I sure what did. What happened with that? Well, I went at the very beginning when I started cooking the rice. I didn't have enough water to cook, mm -hmm. but I prepared all the other meat dishes to mm -hmm. go with. Mm -hmm. So all my friends are waiting for, to be served. So the here comes my life. So when I open up a rice cooker, it's a real dry out. It was all dried. All dry because and of What the, did you have down there at the bottom of that pan? Well, it's sort of brown. Brown? Brown. And little and tiny <laughs> nut-like nuggets. Like, <laughs> Did you serve it? I sure did. You did? I sure did. You didn't, Yokiko, really? No, as I told you, I didn't have any potatoes. I didn't have and any... What, and what did they say? Uh, they, all my friends said, well, after the meals, they have to go to the dentist. Are you going to pay for the feed? <laughs> well, I certainly will. <laughs> well, I, bet you, I bet you won't burn the rice anymore, are you? No, since then I right. learned the best rice. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, here, we're moving along now. Um, while, we, yeah. while you're doing that, maybe we can start preparing the milkshake and we can kind of do two things at one time. Is yes, that all right? Uh, you, did you want to add anything to that now? Yes, this okay. one is a mixture of the soup stocks and salt and pepper and cornstarch and a little bit of sugar. So that's one and cup of uh, stock. This is regular well, chicken about stock? A, yes, about a three quarter cup of any cheese stocks. But dashi okay. or Japanese will use uh, uh, dashi stock, which okay. is bonita flavors. Okay. And the uh, salt and really pepper and mm. And mix it. it. Smells good in there too. Have to stir with the cornstarch. Yeah, because you got that on the bottom. Okay. Just put that in. You just so you saute the 
Mm -hmm. The uh, crab a little bit. That goes in. Then cut the tofu. That's going to be in chunks, huh? Yes, in a chunk. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start this one. And if you'll tell me what to do, I'll go ahead and do it. Yes, one block of tofu with uh, and honey, about three tablespoons of honey and a half cup of milk. Okay, and so three drops let's put... of vanilla. Everything goes in blender. Okay, so we put uh, half, half a cup half of milk mm -hmm. and about how much of vanilla? About three drops of vanilla. What? Well, that's fine. Okay, that's that's, more, that's more than three and drops. And one drop of uh, tofu. Okay, and uh, do I just put the pineapple in there too? Yes, well, that, okay. uh, this those four pieces. Now these are canned. Canned pineapple. Pineapple. Or if you have a crushed pineapple, about one cup. Okay, oh. so these are just four slices. Well, four of, slices. Of. Um, canned pineapple. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're putting in three tablespoons of honey. Honey. And that's about three tablespoons right there. And do I just break this up or just put it in? Just put it in. Okay. And that should be all set to go. And we put this all in, in the blender the and seal it and we're going to let it go for how long? 45 seconds. Okay, I'll put it over here. And away it goes. I also understand that you're, uh, you've got talents in other areas and not just cooking, and that's you're a sumi uh, brush, Japanese brush painter, yes. aren't you? Do you uh, just do it for, as a hobby, or yes, just for a hobby. Hobby, and hobby. do you sell them, or? Well, I don't like to sell it because that will be my hobby. But I sold few. Uh huh. So, and have you ever had a show, or? Yes, I did have a show in Seattle, but uh, also the friends asked me to teach, so I did. Oh, so you teach the teach. brush painting, too. How nice. Okay, this is all done. We're ready to serve it. So while you're doing that, we're going to go ahead and pour this out, okay? Yes. Ooh, we that looks wonderful. It's creamy and thick, and mm. if you like it more oh thinner, my. you add more milk. Look at that. Oh, that is wonderful. And what a nutritious drink that is. Tofu and pineapple and honey. Gosh. You must have a healthy family. Well, preventive medicine. Do you have children? Do they like this? No. No. Okay. Let me put this out on our display area over here. Yep. The table. Very lovely. Okay. So you, yeah, you know, you cut up and cut put in two blocks of tofu. Tofu. Okay. Any size you like. It'd... Just kind of bite size, huh? Yes, bite size. And heat it up. Put in all together. And how long do you cook that? Until the just the heat through. Oh, that's that, all. That's all. Okay. Let's see, maybe this is. Oh, that looks good. <coughs> and then the last thing you put in is the beans. Yes, oh, the yeah, Chinese those, snow peas. Add it's the cut. Peas, rather, yeah. And if you don't have this canned crab meat, you can substitute like canned salmon mm -hmm. or like even a canned scallop, mm -hmm. any seafood you like. Mm -hmm. The Japanese really love seafood, don't they? Yes, yeah. they would love it. And I understand it. that you have fish markets over there that are very interesting. Yeah. In to go Tokyo, to the yes. What, what sort of atmosphere do you have there? Well, in the early in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, those commercial or business people who own the restaurant or sell the fish and his retail store goes and the bitter prices and they get the uh, fresh available mm. seafood and, and so you go down there and just pick mm. them up fresh huh? fresh well, every day you cannot buy in a large quantity for the next uh, uh week or 10 for 10 days mostly mm -hmm. people go every day mm. or maybe every other day so they're nice and healthy and fresh and yes, ready to go fresh. Well, that looks like it's heated through, okay? Yes. Then a sprinkle this cooked snow peas, Chinese snow peas, maybe quarter cup. Mm -hmm. Which you've already blanched or uh, steamed or something? Yes, I did. Gee, look at the colors in that now. Isn't that so pretty? add the color, white and green, and this one is ready to serve. Okay. So this one also can be prepared within 10, 15 minutes yes, sure from can. the beginning. 
Okay, if you want to pour that out here, and we'll finish that up, and then uh, we're going to do one more thing before we leave today, and that's to show you some of the condiments uh, that you can eat if you don't want to have any meats or fish uh, in the tofu that you're eating, and you prefer to um, just eat it plain, then uh, we'll show you how you can do that also. And I'm going to put this little cherry and a pineapple right on top of the uh, pineapple drink over here. Just to add some color. Okay. Want me to help you do that? Yes, please. Okay, this, this <laughs> so is a little heavy. heavy. Pan, yeah. Why don't I just take it? And it must be American side. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Shredded crab meat with chunks of delicious tofu and the beautiful color, just a touch of color with the, um, the green peas on the top. That's very, that's quite lovely. Very elegant, isn't it? Okay, and there you have that. Okay, now let me show our friends at home uh, what we can also do here, and that is uh, if you want to just serve blocks of tofu, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Do we put any of these condiments on top uh, of this? Well, all? you can okay. sprinkle it as a bowl okay. part of. Just to add a, a touch oh, more color. Yes. Okay, so you would get what kind of tofu to serve? Um, just plain, plain tofu. Plain. You, the hard, you, the uh, the firm type or firm the, 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 the creamy? Either one. Soft. Depend on which one you prefer. Uh -huh. It's in the not set you know, way. Okay. And then you would serve that with uh, condiments of some mm -hmm. sort. And we have those right here. Let's let's uh, go through them very quickly. This is fresh horseradish, isn't it? Horseradish. Daikon is called uh -huh. the white uh, giant radish. Uh -huh. and, and those are uh, white and black toasted sesame seeds. So they're just toasted sesame, sesame seeds, seeds, and you seeds. toast them in a pan. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here? And uh, that's a bonito. Okay, uh, and that's available, certainly. Mm -hmm. and, and this is little, uh, seaweed. Yes, just a little... And you can shred it or crumble it, and uh -huh. like this. Just on and top mix, of it. Mi okay. Mixed with the soy sauce and, and chopped uh, a green onion. Uh -huh. And that's a seven red pepper. Oh, well, isn't that something? And that you would just kind of put on top and uh, eat it with the, with the tofu. Uh, the tofu yeah. and or with the soy sauce. Okay, Spring. our time is up. Oh. I thank you so much, uh, Yokiko, for coming uh, to the program. Would you like to say something to our friends at home in Japanese? Konnichiwa. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much for coming and joining You're us. Welcome. When you come My through pleasure. again, and uh, between here in Seattle and Japan, uh, stop by and see us again. Thank you. And good I luck with your with book. You. Thank you okay. very much. And thank you for joining us here on the International Kitchen today. It's certainly nice to have you with us, and I hope that you try some of these nutritious dishes with the tofu. Until next time around, this is Nino Martin, and you take care of yourself now. Aloha.